So this young lady was was kind of beside herself mm-hmm. because she made a post and she thought she was going to get acclimated, but she's learning acclimated, 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 accolades, accolades. Yeah. Accolades. Thank you. Okay. She thought she was going to get some accolades. She thought she was going to get some support. And uh, unfortunately, it it pretty much backfired. She was disappointed in all the comments that she received for this for this post. So I read the post and I and I'm always interested in in situations that happen to you guys out here in these troubling trucking streets. She was at a truck stop. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. She was parked at a truck stop. So she was parked in her truck for the night in her sleeping tank top. She was getting ready to go to bed for the night, get into her sleeping mode and get ready for the next day. She walked up to her driver's side door to open up the curtains for the moment and let down the window. And then at that time, she shut it the curtains again. She came back up to her driver's side to open up the curtain again to close the window. And boom, who does she see? She see a male truck driver in the truck was leaning on his driver's side door. His cell phone pointed directly at her truck and window. She was startled because when she seen it, it was staring dead at her. Was he sitting there with the phone? Yeah, he was sitting there with the phone. Yeah, he was he was sitting there with the phone. She said that the phone was leaned up against the door in his hand, pointed directly at me. Hmm. She says, don't know what to do. I need to take my dogs out. I'm so uncomfortable. Put some clothes on, maybe? Okay, okay, okay. But let me let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Number one, you're in your own truck. You, you're you not inspecting. Well, she said she didn't know what to do. And you said that she had on her sleep tank, t- tank top. Yeah. So if you need to take your dogs out, I'm assuming you ain't about to go out in your sleep tank top. Because if you got on a sleep tank top, that usually means you don't have a bra on. And I mean, I don't know how big or small she is, but I mean, the guy is a creep for sure. But if you're going to get off your truck, you should not get off maybe looking like a lot lizard i think she should just throw on some clothes probably move to another spot but i'm i'm assuming you're, yeah I, you're would, I would move yeah but uh, but it's kind of hard if she to, could yeah it's, it's kind of hard to do that when you're you're at a truck stop especially if if, if it's one of the mega truck stops pilot or whatever i'm not sure she said that yeah, she says she don't know what to do. Well, what to do is put on your clothes and keep it moving. As you already said, we know that the guy is a creep, but then again, we don't know what's on that guy's mind either. Obviously, if he has his cell phone trained on your truck window to see you when you come back and shut the window or whatever the case. So if you got to walk your dog, put on the clothes and probably have something in your hand. If the guy say something to you, you probably might be in all rights to knock him upside his head. But this post right here had a backlash of comments. And she came back in her comment session to say this. She says, I have to say I am beyond disappointed in what y'all response to this post. From shaming me for wearing a tank top, telling me I need I don't know the industry, saying that I should quit my job, ridiculing me for what he did, telling me I don't know how to handle men. Some of you even told me that what I experienced didn't even happen. You weren't there gaslighting a fellow female driver for shame why tell him why telling me i'm overreacting for being afraid and upset placing the blame on his bad behavior on me make it make sense 
Y'all who made these comments are so messed up, or you don't even care for women. How to support young sisters going through something. I was uncomfortable. I felt unsafe. Though his behavior was not illegal, it was morally corrupt. His bad behavior is not my fault. He was watching me. He knew I was awake, likely knew I was alone. He was waiting, recording me beyond the curtain. How is this is okay? It's not. The fact that so many of y'all are challenging me is honestly sick. Boy, do we have a long way to go if this is how women treat other women who are going through some shit. Thoughts? As a woman, I always find it concerning when women, some women, not all women, but some women choose to promote certain appearances around their male counterparts with the expectation that they won't look. If you're half-dressed and this man catches wind of it and you keep coming back to your window half-dressed, in his mind, he's probably thinking, oh, she wants me to see her. Because why else would she? She knows she's in a, a truck stop. She's no, She knows there's majority men around. Why else would she come to the... Now, I'm not saying that she's wrong for wearing what she was wearing. But considering that she said she was getting ready to take her dogs out for a walk, I'm wondering, was she planning to walk her dogs in her sleep tank top? So the people are responding to the bit of information she provided. She didn't provide a whole lot of context other than she was in this sleep top, tank top, and she went to her window a couple of times opening and shutting her curtains. And in that time, I'm assuming she didn't notice that there was a man sitting in his truck. And maybe he thought that she did. And maybe he was trying to teach her a lesson that, hey, you might not want to be in your windows half-dressed because you might have people looking for a peep show. Because he might have been recording her to have the, the post on his social media with some form of negative commentary with it. He might not have been impressed by what he saw. He, he might not. He might have been more concerned as well. Because nowadays, you know, people feel like you just can't say nothing to people. Well, me personally, I would have said something like, excuse me, is there a reason why you point your camera this way? But, you know, she spoke about being in fear. Okay, if you felt fearful, then like we said, you could either move your truck to a different location if possible, or... Don't do that again. Don't be half dressed in an environment full of men if you do not want them looking at you because they're going to look. He maybe should not have been recording, but he's definitely going to look. And as far as the comments, when you put your business out on social media, you get what you get. And if you have high expectations, that's your business. That ain't theirs. You're asking people to sympathize with you in the situation where those particular people couldn't sympathize. So you asked them for their opinion and they gave it. So you can't be mad. Your feelings could be hurt, but you can't be mad because you asked them. You asked them to give their opinion. Yeah, she's in her feelings. So let's let's uh, let's let's circle back to the initial post because you you mentioned that it wasn't much context in that post and now that I swing back around it yeah it wasn't much to go on you you put out there vague information and and let me stop the show for a second I did try to reach out to this young lady to get a conversation on her thoughts of the comments and what happened at the trust stop unfortunately i didn't get no response hold on we got an update she reached out to us here at the lockout men podcast we had a interesting back and forth in the in what i would like to call the green room she wanted to come on and and talk about her experience of what happened to her at the truck stop that's unfortunate sorry we couldn't get the conversation in I said it would have been awesome to have you to come and and give us 
what happened because it wasn't much context in the post. So I said, thank you for reaching out. If she wanted to have a conversation, that probably would have been a little bit better just because conversation can open a door to new understanding and it can help people to sometimes see situations differently than they normally would because they're getting a different point of view. But she's not open to that. Let's get back at it. So the post says, again, uh, she was parked at a truck stop. She was in her sleeping tank top. So on that part right there, I'm assuming she's getting ready to go to bed. Like you're you're at the truck stop, you you shutting down for the night, you change into your night clothes, and you're getting ready to go to bed. That's that's what I took from that statement right there. That's what I took from it right. too, until you mentioned her walking hold the on, dog. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna get to that part. Oh. Moving too fast. God damn it. Jeez. <laughs> Let's hold up for a second, right? I, I don't know what you could do in that situation. Like, but if you need to take your dolls out, put your clothes on, grab something for protection, and take your dog out. That's that's what I can do. That's what I can do. And again, if you feel uncomfortable, these TikTok videos that show you how to secure your doors, I'm not a fan of it, but you can find them on TikTok. They'll show you how to secure your doors and everything. And uh, yeah, the, the truck stops do sell pocket knives. Go go in there and invest in a pocket knife and protect yourself. You got your dog right there on the truck. I'm sure your dog is going to notify you of somebody messing with your doors or something like that. I, I, I don't know. But for you to be upset at the people in the comments to, just because they didn't give you the appropriate acknowledgement of what you was looking for you you got to expect that everybody ain't going to agree with you everybody is not going to support you so i'm not even sure why you even expect that you you think that you in an all-female trucking group and you think you're going to get love from all these females that's in this trucking group you got another thing coming not everybody is going to agree not everybody's going to like not everybody's going to be on your side but again, by breaking down the initial post, what what more can we think about? I, I'm not saying I'm not on your side, but I'm again, I'm like everybody else. I'm going by what you put on the post. What would you do in that situation? Well, <clears throat> I don't take my dog out after I'm dressed for bed. I take her out prior to. Because once I go in, I try to take care of all my business before I go in to shut my curtains and undress for, for bed. Because once I'm dressed for bed, that's it. I'm going to bed. So, and as far as my dog, if somebody was to come and tamper with the doors on my truck, she's going to be the first one to alert, to let me know. And, and her bark will trust, will let the, the whoever is trying to enter my truck know that yeah, you you might not want to do that. Now, I don't know what kind of little dog she got, you know, whether she has something that's, you know, loud enough to cause a could-be uh, person that wants to enter your vehicle to back off, or they the kind of dogs that just sit there and be quiet. I don't know. But my dog is going to wake me up. But, again, I would not dress for a bed and then get off the truck or open up my windows because for me, I'm always thinking, I don't, you know, just in case somebody, because it's always somebody looking. Even when you think there's nobody around to see, there's always, always, always somebody to see something. So I take that with me when wherever I go, because I always stop at truck stops. That's where I spend my nights. So I'm not opening my went my curtain or my and if i do have to open my curtain just to let my window down i ain't gotta open the curtain all the way i could just slide it enough just to be able to see what i need to see to in terms of letting my window down why do you need to pull your curtain all the way back to open your window especially when you know you're not dressed appropriately so yeah when i leave off my truck 
I'm 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 covered. Cause I I'm not trying to catch no attention. Not that way. You know, a man gonna look is gonna look. But he ain't gonna be looking at me because he could see stuff jiggling and wiggling and hanging out. That ain't gonna be the reason he looking, not at me. So I think she needs to reevaluate that situation because I think she probably made too much of it and and therefore didn't get the response that she was hoping to get. Because it might have been a very innocent situation, but because she knew that she was dressed inappropriately, she she interpreted the 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 scenario as this man was pointing his camera at her when that man was probably just sitting there against his seat watching TV or something. Hold on. Let me say this too about the positioning of the driver because I know I've done it. I have sat in my truck in my driver's seat with my back to my door. Now, if he has his curtains open and he's sitting in that same position with his phone in his hand doing whatever he's doing, it could appear to her that he is facing his camera at her door, at her window. Okay. But he probably was not, because if he's sitting in his in his driver's side seat, leaned up against his driver's side door, with his phone in his hand, pointing directly towards her, that man could have been doing FaceTime with somebody on the phone. He could have been playing a video game. He could have been watching a video. He probably wasn't even thinking nothing about that child. But that's what she noticed on her second trip to the to, to her window now she just said he had the the phone pointed towards her she didn't say he was looking over there at her so now you confirm the fact that you didn't explain everything in the in the initial post well maybe you should take this post down and maybe re redo it well just don't put it back up there how about take it down and leave it down and move on with your life. It was one moment in time. You're no longer there. It ain't like the guy following you down the damn highway. You gave him a peek at your little, you know, swinging tits. That's your. That's on you. You know how you was dressed when you opened your damn window. You gave him a peep show and he was thankful for it. Now move on with your life. As you said, you wanted to wear what you wanted to wear. And as you already know, it's legal to, to film in public. If you're showing your tits to the public, then they have a right to film it if they choose to. Move on. Big Jeezy got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me on?